I'm going to read you something that is, is quite stunning. And it really um, emphasizes even more the importance of having a conversation with knowledgeable people in this industry, uh, like our team, that are going to shoot straight with you and give you the information and give you the data to help you make an informed decision. All right, let's have it. Uh, this is uh, from one of the articles that I read, and they just broke down some numbers. They said, if you budgeted $1,500 a month for principal and interest payment, you could borrow a mortgage worth up to $355,000 when rates were at 3.1% in January. Now, obviously, these are very you know, general numbers. Mm -hmm. With today's 5.3% mortgage, you can only borrow $270,000 to keep that same monthly payment. That amounts to an $85,000 loss in purchasing power. And that's gonna be really scary to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna put a lot of people off because they're just not sure if they can now afford what it is that they wanted. Mm -hmm. But I think that emphasizes even more why you need to have a conversation with somebody that is knowledgeable in the area that they're working in and in this industry as a whole. Well, for sure, no doubt about it. It also illustrates why who you listen to matters. Yeah. Because if you listen to the nightly news for your real estate advice, you're doomed. That is not going to go well for you. If you have a local expert, and again, let's throw all the false modesty aside. Our team is excellent at what we do. And if you need a real estate agent, you're crazy if you don't at least talk to one of our team members. You can compare to whoever you want, but you need to talk to people that are writing best-selling books and educating agents all over the country and have a track record of massive success and who don't accept every client that look for the right fit and deliver a world-class value. That That's a no-brainer to me, but that is not the common approach out in the marketplace. It's go with your nephew who just got his license. Do him a favor. It's go uh, with somebody you went to college with, even though you know they're not full-time and, and you know they're not excellent, but you think they're, they're thoughtful and kind, right? No one does this with other massive financial assets. No one does this with other, you might think of it as a liability. No one does this with massive financial liabilities, huge expenditures. It's just not something that intelligent people do when they've slowed down and been thoughtful. It's what people do when they follow the norm and they've, they've done what people traditionally do. So all that to be said, if you had a conversation with our team, uh, anytime in the last at least two and a half years, we would have said to you, you've got to take advantage of these low rates and rapidly rising prices if you want, if you're financially prepared and you want to be a homeowner. We are rapidly seeing people priced out of home ownership. And now we're here and it's only gonna get worse at least for a while to where if you're an entry level home buyer and in January you could have bought a 350 something thousand dollar house and now you can only avoid afford 230 something or whatever the math was, 280 something. There are no houses in that price range in the most of the places that our buyers want to want to buy. That's rough news to take. Yeah. So you've got to find someone that you can trust, not th that you're not worried. They just want to sell you something. They just want a commission, but someone that you think really knows what they're talking about and will tell you the truth, whether it's good for them or not, because it's good for you. What's good for you right now as a buyer is still buy what you can. If you are financially ready to buy and you want to own your home, Buy what you can. Don't buy something that you hate or that you're not proud of, but you may want a five bedroom and you should probably go ahead and buy a four bedroom if that's what you can afford right now. Because getting into the game of real estate in North Texas is going to be an excellent investment for the next 50 plus years. It just is. It's a growing market with limited inventory and that's not gonna change anytime soon. But even in a wave or a season or a pendulum swing where that does change, in the long haul, this is going to be one of your better investments of your life. And if you wait too long and you're too picky and you're too entitled, you are going to miss out on a massive wealth building opportunity. And if you're a seller and you're, you think you're smarter than everybody and you're going to perfectly time the top or, or you think it's all over and we've already missed it and you're going to go give your property away, those are the consequences of poor guidance, lack of expertise, no leadership. Those are emotional decisions. So to Ian's point, you've got to find someone you can trust. My hope is that we've earned your trust here through our show and through our commitment to our neighbors and our clients in the past. If not, give us a check. Check us out. 214-310-0008 for the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. Fill out any form. 
Call any phone number, text any phone number, stop by the office in Richardson or Fort Worth, and let's have one of our agents, our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class agents, uh, jump on the phone, jump on a Zoom, or or connect with you, answer your questions, ask you some thought-provoking questions, and help you succeed in a market that is really, really challenging. 